Good evening, good evening. This is Marie Holiday, and I hope everybody had a fabulous day today. And before we get into today's lecture, please hit that subscribe button and hit that notification button. Support and subscribe to my channel. So with that being said, let's get down to today's lecture. Actually, this lecture is a requested topic. And so the focus of this lecture is going to be a session to benzo pills. Why? A session to benzodiazepine pills. Why? With a question mark. So before I actually get into this lecture, I do want to say again that because of the COVID-19 in the business in the business that I am in as a licensed clinical addiction specialist, you know, we are beginning to see uh, ever since the rule of COVID-19 uh, escalation arise in substance abuse on all types of our drugs, alcohol drugs, benzos, cocaine, uh, marijuana, etc. But the focus of this lecture is going to be a session to benzodiazepine pills. Why? So I'm going to bring it to your bottom line. And, you know, we really do, you know, the people really do need to wake up because, you know, the disease of alcoholism makes no mistake, has an impact on the user, the person who's addicted to the substance. It has a direct impact on the mother, father, sister, brother, child, neighbor, co-worker, significant other, and I'm here to tell you. So pay attention. So are you psychologically assessed, meaning mentally addicted to the benzodiazepines, a.k.a. benzos or whatever the substance may be? First of all, benzodiazepines, benzo, belongs to the prescription sedative class of drugs. Although benzos have a common effect, they are highly addicted. And I'm here to tell you. So, and a person who abuses them will face a host of psychological symptoms. It's not, I'm not, the focus is not going to be on the physical symptoms, I'm going to present the psychological symptoms of being addicted to benzodiazepines or any alcohol or drug. But before I get into that, I do want to mention that the following, I'm going to mention uh, a list of benzodiazepines by the brand name, Ativan, Xanax, Libran, Clonopin, Valium, just the name of fruit. So, why is it why is it that the user, the, the drug user of the benzos becomes psychologically addicted or mentally addicted or obsessed with the benzos? I'm going to explain why. First of all, the reason why psychological addiction or psychological dependency is so powerful for the user it's because it's made up of four parts. Psychological dependency or mental addiction interchangeable. There's four parts that make it so powerful. And the first part is what in the field of addiction we call preoccupation or AKA mental obsession. And what preoccupation means when a person becomes so preoccupied or mentally obsessed with a primary drug of choice, benzos or whatever that primary choice may be, you know, they can be uh, at a family event or family function. Physically, they're at that family event, a family or function, a cookout, or a family or uh, sitting down watching a movie together, or going to someone's graduation, or even attending a funeral or a wedding at a family function. That person, physically, they're there. But mentally, their mind is on worrying about making sure I don't run out of my benzo pills or that my supply don't get low or I got to go meet the drug dealer to purchase more benzos to feed my addiction. They, they are, and they literally are looking at their clock hoping that that function will hurry up, that graduation will hurry up, or that movie will hurry up, or that family event will hurry up because they are so mentally assessed 
in making sure that they don't run out of their primary drug of choice. So that mental obsession will drive that person deeper into their addiction. That's the number one reason why they become mentally obsessed because of preoccupation. Number two reason. And all of these different layers of psychological dependency falls under the word psychological dependency. Number two, state dependent learning. What state dependent learning is now that the person has been using more and more and more of the benzos, their tolerance goes up. It's going to take more and more to receive the same effect. That now they're crossing that line of addiction. So what state dependent learning is now the person in all areas of their life, they're going to become uh, accustomed to performing certain skills, performing certain duties in task only when they're drug impaired by the benzos. You know, some people wake up every morning and before they can get moving around real good and everything, they need that first cup of coffee. But for a true benzo addict, when they first wake up in the morning, they're going to reach for their, their, their benzo pill and they're going to pop that pill and use that pill in order to get functioning, moving around good throughout the day. And that's what state dependent learning is when a person becomes accustomed to being drug impaired, but just by getting get up in the morning in order to function. If they even still got a job at this point, they ain't working an eight hour, nine hour, ten hour shift without sneaking in the bathroom, popping more benzos to complete the shift out. That's another good example of state dependent learning, which drives that addiction. You know, some people, if they're trying to do housework chores and they're not going to be able to complete the, the task of cleaning that house and the chores and running errands until they use their primary drug of choice. So that's what state dependent learning is when the user becomes accustomed to performing certain tasks, duties, and skills to finish out the work shift only when they're dry alcohol or drug impaired. In this case, impaired with a benzo and that drives that addiction. Number three reason why the person becomes psychologically addicted to benzos is the psychological defenses, which is another layer under psychological dependency. And what psychological defenses is, is like a powerful shield to keep the person from hearing the truth. Inside of them that they know their use is out of control. Inside of them they know that addiction has escalated and other family members are going to begin to notice so psychological defenses is like a powerful shield to keep the user from hearing the truth. When family members, the mother, father, sister, brother, loved ones, significant other, may approach the person and say things like, I'm concerned about what I see. I'm concerned about your drug use. I'm concerned about the irresponsibilities. I'm concerned about how you're presenting at these family functions or not even there. So the person, the user, will respond by saying something sarcastic or mind your own business or you don't know what you're talking about or cursing a person out because inside of them they know what they're hearing is the truth. Psychological defenses are unconscious they're designed to trick the person and it will propel them deeper and deeper into their addiction. So that's the third reason why that mental obsession, the psychological dependency is so powerful because now I just presented the psychological defenses, the preoccupation, the state dependent learning, and the number fourth reason which drives this person deeper into their addiction is the relationship with the primary drug of choice. The relationship with the benzos or the cocaine or the methamphetamine or the marijuana or the alcohol. I mean, I can go on and on. The relationship, the user now they have damaged all healthy relationships with the mother, father, sister, brother, significant other, co-worker. So now they have developed a relationship with their primary job of choice. Whatever that primary job of choice may be, they're gonna do they're gonna do many things to protect the true severity of their addiction. They're gonna lie to family members and say they're not really using or not really using that much, or what are you talking about? So they now are going to do things to protect the relationship with the true severity of their addiction. And I'm here to tell you. So those are the four powerful reasons in terms of 
why people become mentally or psychologically addicted to benzos or any substance. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to tell you that the disease of alcoholism or drug addiction, make no mistake, the disease of alcoholism or drug addiction, when it touched down into a person's home, similar to when a tornado touches down, it is a discroar of all discroars, I'm here to tell you. And by the time the person addiction propels to that level, it is really, really seriously time to do an intervention. The person is going to need to go into treatment and get medical detox to be under the care of a medical doctor. And I'm here to tell you, you know, I'm in the trenches every day. And, and, and because of the rule of the COVID-19 and believe it or not, because of the rural of social media, people are killing themselves trying to keep up with the Joneses, which leads to addiction. And I'm seeing it every single day. And I'm here to tell you. So with that being said, if you have any questions, send me your comments. Please do not forget to uh, hit my subscribe button. Hit that notification button. This channel cannot be possible without subscribers. You know, I'm getting a lot of folks who are watching my videos, who are sending me comments, but who are not subscribing. That does not help this channel, I'm here to tell you. You know, my channel is intended to be uh, informative, motivational, educational, thought-provoking, all the way around. And, and I have no doubt, you know, you, there are people right now who are listening to this video right now who is addicted to benzos or other substance. If you are, I'm here to tell you there's help out there, there's treatment programs out there, there are 1-800 numbers out there, and, and all you got to do is pick up the phone, I'm here to tell you. So with that being said, simplify, simple fidelis, and uh, I'm going to leave you in the care of your own conscience. Have a great evening.